this house and what we're at back to Houston because I have a lot to do today and it's 11 o'clock in the morning and I woke up at 10 because I overslept and I got ready really really quickly and I was out of the house in like 30 minutes. Um, so when I get back to Houston I have to go to like three different stores. car on the side of the road because I got a flat. It is my first flat and I'm really not happy about it. Um, I don't have a spare tire because my car doesn't come with one which is really dumb but it doesn't and I just called roadside assistance and they will be here within an hour and then they'll be taking me to a dealership because I don't have a spare tire so I'm probably gonna have to buy a tire which my dad is not gonna be happy about and I need to go I need to call him um yeah this is not going well I'm supposed to be in Houston by four because I have to get my portfolio from school and I don't think I'm gonna make it which sucks I don't know what's going to happen to my portfolio, and I need it. <sighs> Today is just not going well. Although, some really, really nice guy stopped, and he was going to help me put on my spare tire. But I don't have a spare tire, so he couldn't. But then he waited with me while I called roadside assistance and made sure that they were coming. And then um, I told him he could leave because they were on their way. And he was very, very sweet. Um, so that, that made my day a little bit better. Um, so now I'm going to go call my dad and tell him what happened. And that I'm probably going to have to get a tire. Yay! Cost money. Um, so I found out the dealer or the tow truck is taking me to a dealership. The closest one is in Waco, which is an hour and 20 minutes away. And then my dad's not answering his phone, which sucks, and I'm screwed. So, yeah, that's how my day's going. It's wonderful. Hey guys, um, so it is now. It is now 4.46 p.m. and I am now done at the dealership and I got a new tire because my tire blew up and um, now I get to drive home and I won't get back to like after 7.15, at least that's what the GPS is saying right now. Eventful. It's been very eventful. Um, the tow truck ride was okay. It took an hour and a half to get to Waco from where I was at, which was the closest dealership there was. But the towing was free because I had the roadside assistance languaging with Hyundai. Now tomorrow I get to go to like Discount Tire and they will reimburse me the money I paid for the new tire because 
tires are under warranty, but I couldn't get to a discount tire. Sorry, it's my GPS telling me that I need to go on highway six. Sorry, um, my lane ended where their lane ended. I don't know. Went from two lanes to one lane. Drive 1.7 miles. Then turn left on Texas 340. So yeah. Um I haven't I was supposed to get so much done today, but I haven't because my tire decided to blow up on me while I was on my way home. So now I get to do Drive everything. Miles. Then turn left on Texas 340. Oh my god, shut up. Now I get to do everything tomorrow. Which is just wonderful because I already had a lot to do. Miles. Keep right on Marlin Highway. I had a lot to do tomorrow anyway, so I get to do double that amount, and I have to turn. Hold on. Okay. Um. Now I get to drive home. Please drive to highlight it. I'm on the road. Um. To highlight it. I really hate GPS's here because this GPS never works. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's always like, oh my god, make it back on the route. No, I don't. I'm already on it. Um, but yes, I get to drive home, and the tire was only $130, which I thought it was going to be a lot more expensive, so I'm happy that it was only that amount. <sighs> but we get reimbursed, so I can get like a spare tire with that. But I looked at the tire that, because um, Discount Tire wants to see the bad tire and my receipt. Um, Six miles, then keep right onto Texas 6 South. And I saw it, I opened my trunk and looked at it, and it, oh my gosh. It like blew up on the inside. It was so bad. It's like cracked all the way around. It's really, really bad. Um, but I got a new tire, my, and then they checked the sensors because my uh, tire pressure sensors were off. And they're all good again, so yay. It's only been four hours since I've been Continue point six doing miles. this stuff. Then turn left on El Lake Road. Um, but yeah, it's now almost five o'clock. And I'm not home, which I should have been home like two hours ago. Early, more than two hours ago. been an adventure, so this is probably all I'm going to be doing today. I'll probably try to clean my apartment today, and then I have to go to a bunch of stores tomorrow, because by the time I get to Houston, I think the store I need to go to will be closed, but I'm not positive. I'll probably I'll have to look online and see is closed or not. Hopefully it's not because I need to go. Hey guys, so I just got to a Sonic because I haven't eaten all day and I got a burger. I'm about to get gas and then I'm headed home again. I'm still not home. It's been a very long day. It's like 6 30 right now. I just made it to, I think I just passed a uh, college station so not sure if you guys can see me, but I just got to my, um, I just parked at my apartment and I'm going to show you my tire. So yeah, I just got back to my apartment and I will now clean 
maybe decorate my Christmas tree. I don't know. Um, but yeah. And you guys saw my tire. It's all, it blew out totally, which is not good. Um, I was very lucky. I could have, it could have happened very differently to where I could have spun out of control. So I'm, I'm very lucky that it did not happen like that. And I was able to get control of my car when it blew out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some stuff. Maybe vacuum. Maybe, like, clean up my kitchen and bathroom. And then I'm going to bed because I've been on the road trying to get home for over nine hours now because it's 9 21 so yeah all right bye guys